Oh, that's a really good cup of tea there. Hello, Retro Prime here. Uh, I wasn't going to do videos anymore because I thought, well, what's the point? Everyone's getting freaked out about this whole copper situation. But then when I thought about it, it's like if Scarlett Johansson swore off men. As much as I would love it to affect me, it doesn't it really. So I may as well just go on and do what I'm doing. I, since this whole mess started, um, I've not really paid attention to it because it really doesn't affect me. I do YouTube primarily for my friends and family now and especially for my daughter. So when I make a video, I do it in mind of being myself and, and, and it can be something she watches when she's older. So I've saved all my videos that I, that I think are worth her watching or, or, or my friends seeing or me, even the ones I enjoy making and, and, and I'm proud of. Save that to the computer and if YouTube decides to wipe everything, it's nice enough manners to be honest. Anyway, I'm making this video because I've seen someone picked up a cool wee KO in TK Maxx. I've seen it on, the, I think it was on the TF UK Facebook page, I'm not too sure. Um, and I thought that looks kind of neat so I've been keeping my eyes out for it. Couldn't find it in my local TK Maxx. Um, they have got some KOs but they were the really really rubbishy car former ones that you get in all like pound shops and, and you know seaside shops and stuff. But then my pal Borders dude, John, he found it and said, oh, it's here. And he, do you want me to put it away for you? And I said, yeah. So he hid it. I got it. And uh, well, well, here it is. Here's the box anyway. <laughs> um, it is. Now, apparently it's a KO of Cyber Battalion Starscream. Um, which I think was that line of cheap toys that were, uh, the entertainer had them with. They were really sort of simplified and dumbed down. You know, like simple packaging. They were very, like, sort of simple toys. Um, almost like upscaled legend size figures. You know, like, little articulation, little paint. Kind of really designed for kids, to be honest, I think. I've never seen them in hand. And I've never seen them in entertain either. But there's the kind of stuff. I think there was, there was a no, like, a shockwave. And uh, Prowl that folk were kind of, sort of, after. But I never saw them. So I never I never bothered looking at them, even. Whatever. But, I mean, this seems to be, a, a, apparently, there's a key with that. And it's uh, it's based on IDW Starscream, maybe? I don't really pay attention to the comics and stuff. um, So I don't know. But this is the back of the package and uh, shows, you, shows you him in a robot and uh, helicopter in a plane, in jet mode, says two forms. Super legend, just like me. Realistic shape and flexible action, just like me. <laughs> uh, I, that's about all you get really, conversion. On the front it says Super Warcraft, and there's more sort of imagery. And to be fair they've used, I don't know, is it? Yeah, it's actual... Artwork rather than sort of photos of their product, which is good effort put in there. You've got there as well. You've got like the the one that I got in this say red and black variant. Which to be honest, after having this guy out of the box, if I see that, I'd pick it up as well. Um, yeah, no much more to show. It's got the normal legal bump on the bottom there. Uh, other than that, six ninety nine in TK Maxx. Yeah, awesome. So here it is. Now, what I will say is, straight out of the box, it feels heavier than your normal cheap shop KO. Um, the joints, for the most part, are very, very, very tight. You know, very stiff and strong. He's got feet that kind of... I mean, they, they move due to transformation primarily, but they're very, very loose as well. So when you're posing him, he doesn't cut a mean pose, but you have to make sure he's balanced or he will just fall forward. Um, a bit of polish on, on these wee sort of bits there. And maybe there, and that wouldn't be an issue. The only other sort of QC um, when it comes to joint strength is he's got a tab here that this back sort of wing panel pad uh, tabs into. A wee bit of polish in there. That kind of it's stiff, but it tends to sometimes just fall out. But other than that, this is a really, really good figure. Stiff joints, very heavy. It's not empty. I mean, if you look at the back, there's no wasted space or gibble. Um, he has got like hollow legs and sort of hollow underarms, but. Even the official toys these days do, so that's not really a, a mark down on them. Um, it comes with two sets of weapons in blue and orange. And again, nice, sturdy, solid plastic. It's cool. Um, articulation. His head's on a swivel. And it is as stiff as sin. And it's a really good head sculpt as well. Really, really cool. Um, shoulders are on ball joints. He's got 90 degree bend at the arms. No waist swivel. His uh, hips are on ball joints, they haven't got a lot of, sort of spinny, wiggly, waggly movement, but they do have a full range of sort of outwards and backwards and forwards. And he's got like just under 90 degrees at the knee. Uh, and again, you can pose the feet, I suppose, but they'd have to be a lot tighter before you could actually use that to articulate them. Or to at least pose them. Oh, I'm on my knees, I'm 40 years old, I'm on my bloody knees, it hurts. Other than that, this is a fantastic toy. Really, really good. Um, weapon storage in robot mode. If I'm dropping them on the floor. Box says that you have these here. 
for some bizarre reason. And that he holds the blue ones. There you go. And he holds them tightly and stuff. So there you go. That's how they sort of recommend you display them. But throw away these. He's got ports on the side of his arms. Now, on the original Cyber Battalion version, there is differences. That it's no complete rip-off. The mould is different. The knees are different on this version. Um, and the shoulders. The shoulders are squarer on the original. And the kind of like these bits we peg into the shoulders, giving them a more sort of authentic look. But I just plug them into the side of his arms. And there you go, he's got a bit of a sort of G1 A Seekers esque look there. You know, it's not bad. That's how I that's how I display him. That's how he that's how he goes with me, and then I give him the yellow ones. If I feel like it. Yellow, orange, whatever. But I tend to just leave them off. So there you go. Um loads of paint as well. I mean you can see. Paint, 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 paint. He's got stickers. That's the only thing. If I can find some Decepticon logos to replace these, then you're pretty much laughing, I'm afraid. It's uh, it really is a, a decent toy. Alright, it's a KO, but can who cares? Cheap and cheerful. That's what it is. Now the thing is, I've transformed this lad a couple of times, um, but I never looked at the instructions because I never do, and the arms never really seem to have anywhere to tab in. And you know with these sort of jet formers, the arms just kind of always go down by the side of the body of the robot and sort of tab in somewhere. And when you lift, when you look at them from underneath, you can just see them. Well, I've just looked at the instructions, which is this photocopy black and white page, and then I've realised that his his shoulders f f uh, fold down, and his arms kind of his hands hold onto these little pegs just under the wings, meaning that. He's kind of doing this Jesus and Nazareth thing. Um, that's kind of unique. Uh, and it also gives him ports for putting his missile launchers or whatever his, his ray guns on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Now tell me that's not a decent Starscream. That's awesome. Transformation's cool. <laughs> looks really, really good. Like I said, underneath he kind of looks a bit like Jesus and Nazareth. Come to me, my children. But yeah, that's a really, 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 really good alt mode, a really good looking Starscream, and it literally is a couple of sort of uh, Decepticon logos off of being a decent display piece. Uh, yeah, even under, he's even got like bloody uh, uh, landing gear and stuff. I'm well impressed with that to be honest. Very, very, very good. I mean, I can give you a better look. You can see the cockpits and that's really nice black. He's got the, the blue nose cone. He's got the jet intakes there and, and wing detail and uh, coloured panels. It's just... I really like that. <laughs> I really like this. It's not often you get a pleasant surprise of a cheap toy, and uh, I'm a hundred percent happy I bought that. To be honest, it is so so good. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Hang on, I'll get something to show you a sort of skill, sort of size comparison. Two seconds. There he is with a G1 thrust. Gives you a sort of size comparison there. He's a decent, chunky, quite big, heavy, well-made figure. There you go. So, oh, I've not had that off the shelf in ages. It's proper dusty. <laughs> so, do you recommend getting this? I mean, if you don't mind buying KOs, then yes, it's one of the best I've ever held. Other than sort of MP uh, knockoffs and stuff, I mean, they're obviously a higher quality than this. But um, for what this is, it's really good. And I'm, like I said, I, anyone who's out there who can custom uh, figures and sort of do better paint jobs and add, add decals, you're looking at a really good Starscream here, just with, with little to no effort needed to put in. Um, aye, get him if you're if you're curious. <laughs> Like I said, who knows what's happening with YouTube? Um, the, U the YouTube, the Transformers YouTube community really has taken a hit recently. Um, lack of interest, lack of interaction. No, I don't mean on anyone's part. I mean just mainly on like social media. They're not really pushing, socialising. <laughs> they're, they're just, it's just adverts. I mean even now when you type on YouTube something, adverts, Snapchat, adverts, Instagram, adverts, Facebook, every third post, adverts. I think social media is on its way out, in its current forms. I think. So right, let's just keep doing what we're doing and hopefully hopefully it'll circle back round and we'll all get back into it. Um, I hope you liked that video. I hope you, that was a good look at this toy. Um, it's, it's really unique in its sort of quality for what it is. Definitely recommend it. Check, take in a look. If you've got one nearby and you've got six quid, seven quid to spend or spare, do it. Oof.